hey you guys all right so on this video i really 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 just wanted to thank all of my supporters out there it feels so good to be able to like help so many cleaning businesses all around the world i talk to people every day literally every day a different cleaning company from all around the world and i'm able to uh, give them my opinion my advice you know i still don't look at myself as being a guru or anything like that because you know i don't know what it takes to be uh, called a, a guru or whatever but i don't consider myself that i consider myself as being a small business owner i'm learning i'm growing and i'm helping other people on my journey to a, to a million okay that's me that's what i'm doing all right so but if, it just feels good to be able to help so many people i get phone calls all the time with people saying hey i listened to your videos i took your advice and i want a contract or you know and, and it's, it feels good man you do not have to work that nine to five forever it's a trap I'm telling you, it's a trap. I was in that trap before, okay? I'm not in that trap anymore. So I just want to help other people get out of it, man. And um, I just want to say thank you on this video right here, man. Thank you. Keep hitting that like button. Stop looking at the videos and not supporting and hitting the like button, okay? The like button usually shows, it, it helps the algorithm out. You know, it helps us get the word out to more people. So don't just watch the video. Hit the like button button okay hit the like button comment subscribe all that good stuff that all the other youtubers tell you to do you need to do that for me too okay <laughs> all right so um that's what that's that's all i had to say thank you thank you guys thank you for your support man um just like it feels good to talk to me on the phone some of you guys you might get enlightened talking to me on the phone hey i get very inspired by some of the the comments that i read you know and some some of the things that you guys say man it, it really inspires me to keep going all right so thank you to the next video i'm out of here Bye -bye. and um how many square footage you said again 23 000. 23 000 square feet so whenever we're whenever i'm doing a quote the way I do it is I first think about the person that's going to be cleaning it and how how much I'm going to pay them first, right? So what what city did you say you're from? Um, Ohio, um, Warren, like an hour from Cleveland. Okay. Do you know what the cleaners make in your city? Like the average pay? Is it between fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, something like that? Sure. I heard somebody say 20. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. Exactly. <laughs> so you can you can actually go on Indeed and you can pretend like you're a cleaner looking for a cleaning job and you can look at what the rates are, what all the other cleaning businesses in your city are paying cleaners. You know what, I called one yesterday and left a message and they never did, they didn't get back with me yet. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that's just another way to do it. Um, I know in my city that the cleaners here usually make in anywhere between $15 to $20 an hour is a sweet spot for the cleaners here, right? Um, is but that, you, Is that for mm -hmm. commercial? With any cleaning job, really. You said fifteen to twenty dollars an hour. Yes, for employees. Yep. Okay. Okay. For employees. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you? What? What are you going to be doing? Contracting this thing out, or you're going to? Yeah, con contracting it out. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So you still have to make it make sense for the contractor because you know it depends. It's two different contractors that you can hire. You can hire the contractor that is self-employed that just works for themselves or you can hire the contractor that has 12 employees. So those are the two type of people that you'll come across whenever you're contracting work out. But the, the contract- I mm -hmm. use my husband because he, he, he's got a lot of experience like with maintenance work and that type of stuff and his ass and whatnot. So he's okay. real good at that. So I just wanna like, use him. <laughs> okay, well that's a good start. Hey, when I started, I, I used my kids. That's the, that's the best way to start. Learn your account. Okay, that's that's perfect. 
So um, yeah. if it takes two people, I take it both of you guys are going to be doing this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kids, cool. Yeah. So you still want to quote it high enough to outsource it in the future. You don't want to lo low bid yourself because it's going to keep you clean. Okay. Right. So that's right. That's what I don't want. Right. So um, these are the things that you think about when you're thinking about quoting. The first thing that needs to come in your head is what can I pay two individuals? Um, you said two, two nights a week? Two nights a week. Two nights a week for four hours of their time, right? What is, what uh -huh. is going to be um, the best price that I can pay them? You know, um, if... I was thinking, Tim, what do you think? I don't know. Oh, you were thinking ten dollars an hour? You say you were thinking ten dollars an hour? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's too low. That's way too low. Okay. Huh? okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing ten dollars an hour no more. Y'all don't think you're gonna keep nobody with that. Um okay. if you're gonna go low, at least say fifteen, you're yeah. gonna hire a contractor or you're gonna hire an employee. Now remember employees are a little different. You have to think more strategically with them because you have to add on supplies and you have to add on taxes then you got to add on what your company is going to profit okay so these are these this, this is the stuff you got to think about when you're outsourcing to an employee okay now when you're outsourcing it to a, um, an independent contractor or another cleaning company you can pay them a flat fee right but you still need to bid it high enough you know to, to keep them working for an account like that i would probably look for the contractor that works for themselves because it's probably gonna be like a small account you know um so what i would do was i would look for a contractor that is like a husband and wife team like you guys yes that is who i would look for for that account